Hello folks, welcome to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet and we're back here for our Football Manager 23 save, the ABC Journeyman. We're at club number 9, which is Coventry City. As you can see behind me, we still sit top of the league, but we're going through a really, really tricky spell uh, this month in October. And hopefully we can put it right with an away game against Oxford. Yeah, folks. It went incredibly well. First two months, we were in fantastic form. You saw the game against Charlton. We then beat Luton 4 0. Luton doing pretty well in the league. As Spencer Lawrence hat trick and Aaron Land getting the goal. We followed that up with a 1 0 loss against Palace. Even though they had a player sent off, this was a pretty disappointing result. But the next three matches were all wins 2 1 against Huddersfield, uh, Norino, and Popovich, 3 1 against uh, Ipswich. Lunt, Popovich and Lawrence and Crawley were the final ones to get beaten, Allen and Popovich. But following on from that in October, we have not played well. We've only scored two goals. We haven't conceded huge amounts, but we've conceded more goals in this month than we have the rest of the season. So we drew 0-0 against Southend away from home. Bit of disappointing, but those matches happen. But it was the match that came up next against Derby where we just were not competitive lost 2-0 didn't look in it against Villa this should never have been a loss we lost 2-1 Popovich got himself a goal but they got a penalty later on and we've just played Cardiff who are seventh in the league this wasn't an easy match we took the lead from a Popovich goal um, they had really not created much we created probably more but not really any good chances apart from the goal and then as always happens with FM when you're in a bad run the opposition go down the other end and score their only real chance of the game. Pretty frustrating um, when they had no other highlights in the game. Yes, they had chances and actually the, the, the stats look probably quite similar, but we saw none of the chances for them apart from this one right at the end. So I was really frustrated not to get the three points there because I felt we deserved it. We battled hard in that game and we come out of this... Um, this this period on a former match um, un, uh, run without a win, which is frustrating. We still sit, even though we've had that after 13 games, we still sit top of the league, just ahead of Derby and Burnley on goal difference. That could all end today, but we're playing Oxford. If we can beat them today, then it's, it's down to Derby and Burnley to do something. But we really need to put things right. So I'll just show you a couple of changes we've made for this game coming. So just two kind of slight tweaks to the formation. Number one is Norino is he's a very, very good player, but in the last few games he has struggled to to show his form. But he has the most progressive passes in I think it was in the league. It was absolutely mad. I just saw this. I'll just see if I can find the uh, the, the data here. Okay, not in the league, but 3.44 more than the Skybet Championship average, 7.45. So he is he is really able to find those progressive passes. But we were playing him as a Metzala. Now, Metzala is not a player who is going to be playing as many passes as you want a player who's playing all these progressive passes to do. So we are going to play him more centrally. We're going to lose that width a little bit. And we're going to ask him to play an advanced playmaker role. And I'm hoping that means he's going to be able to put more balls through. We'll see how that goes. His club wants him to play in a defensive playmaking role. We'll see whether that is a better one for him. But I feel like we, we want to use the attacking role um, here. The other thing that we've done on the left side, Lawrence has come in. He's a right footer. So we're going to try and play him as an inside forward rather than a winger. And I'm hoping these couple of little changes are going to make the the difference. The other thing that I think we might look to do is to push the um, players to to run at the uh, defence more. So the, the team that we're going to be going out with against Oxford, Popovich and Van Gelder lead the line. Leo on the right, it says there's personalised instructions, there aren't any personalised instructions. We just kept it as it was in the end. I was I couldn't see anything that would be better than what he was, was on. His form is also horribly uh, poor in the last few games. Lots of 6.3s and 4s, which is disappointing. Lawrence on the left, just back in. Norino and Allen were really struggling on that left side. Arino's not done good. We tried to play uh, Ferrier. 
he didn't do well there. So it felt like we were a little bit stuck as to who we could play out there. Uh, back line, we're going to be playing Boyle uh, left back, and that is because... Um, why are we playing him there? Because Issa hasn't been great in the last few games. Asgar and Ruan are playing in there. Ball playing defender to, to Ruan. You'll see that Haywood is out injured. And that means that Hughes is coming back into the side. And he's a good player on that right side. He's not maybe as good as Ruan on the right side. But I think he does the job. Let's see how we do against Oxford. I'm hoping for a little bit of a turnaround. Hopefully a turnaround in front of the cameras. Because it normally doesn't work like that. It looks like we've got a bit of a full house going on. Oxford are doing all right in the league. What I've noticed is we're not creating really good chances. And I'd like to have a little bit more of that. But we're just giving the ball away there to Mohammed, uh, And Mohammed's running at their defence very, very slowly. They've got the ball through somehow. And defensively, it's not the best work from us. But we've got the ball away. Popovich has lost it. And the ball's gone through us. And you can see the... Wow, I mean, that's a stunning finish. But you can see the, the play that we had earlier in the season, that, that fluid, confident play, it's just evaporated out of the team. And we're struggling to hold on to the ball, struggling to make the passes. And then we give away a goal like that. And, I mean, yes, it's an absolute worldie of a goal. I mean, how the heck he, he got that, I don't know. But we're 1-0 behind... And it's fairly disappointing because the two or three times we had a chance to clear it and we didn't. Right, the ball's gone over the top and Boyle's picked that up. He's got a chance here to maybe take that left back spot because Peters is out. We don't... Um, and here's Popovich. Leo looking for a pass. It's into Rory Allen. No, not Rory Allen. Here's Leo. He's going to have a shot. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's lost the ball. The whole team was up there, and Brown is going to run away with it. Oh, my God. And we're through. They're through us. We're not through. And it's a cracking save from Barad, and that is so disappointing. We we dithered and dithered to, to create the chance, and we just didn't get the shot away. Right, free kick for them. Another chance. We've cleared it just about. Here's Allen. Are we going to have a, a highlight here? Feels like we've got a break on, but we completely mess up the pass. And oh dear, it's so frustrating. Here's Ruan. He finds Nourinho. Nice forward ball. That's what we need. Leo. And it's, it's in. It's Lawrence. And Lawrence just blasts it. I mean, it, I don't even know if that was going in. It's a frustrating. We're just making all the wrong decisions at the minute. Ball's chipped over to absolutely no one. And they just, you know, they've done well there. Here's, here's Nourinho. Van Gelder. That looks potentially offside. But it's not if it's Leo picking it up. And Popovich misses. That was a bit of a sitter. Oh, we're at half time. We're 1-0 down. Yes, we had a really good chance at the end there, but Oxford are deservedly in the lead, and we just haven't really been in this game. It's been really, really frustrating. So what we're doing, we're going to go shooting on site because we're not getting the ball, we're not creating the, the chances. We're going to be going a little bit... We're going to go try and use the width a little bit more, um, and we're going to go running at the defence with a slightly higher tempo just to try and create a little bit more chances, but... Yeah, goalkeeper. Goalkeeper has been the the better the better player, and yeah, we've we've shouted at them. We've shouted at the uh, the players after that first half performance. Not good enough at all. Well, Hughes has picked the ball up here. We've not made any changes just yet. Nourinho, we've not seen those through balls that we saw early on. But Leo is free. Is he going to have a shot? It's just. I mean, he just wasn't running at them. He was dallying on the ball and I don't know why that wasn't was wasn't on target though right just changing some of the roles in the center of midfield we brought Lunt on Nourinho now as the deep line playmaker center Lunt on that central midfield on attack hopefully maybe a little bit further back he's going to have more room to play those passes forward but yeah it's been hugely frustrating so far not really seen anything from the the front players will also bring Charlie Allen on with the hope that he could maybe create something late on. Well, it hasn't happened. And to add insult to injury, we've got an injury to Leo 
right at the end. Hopefully that's not serious. And we lose 1-0. And it finishes a really frustrating uh, month, which we just have got very, very little out of. Performed really not very well. And these periods, they come and they go, but... Uh, it's frustrating because we were so good early in the season and now just have lost our way completely and I don't understand why at all. No idea where this has come from because we were so, so much better than this earlier in the season. But it's it's one thing after another. It's not a bad injury, thankfully, to Leo. I mean, that is a dreadful run of games. We have to put that right. We've got some games potentially we could put it right in there's nothing against teams that are ridiculously high up so we need to start in the game against Sunderland and just put this right and we're going to come back I think at the end of this period and hopefully I will be able to bring you a nice run of wins because this team is, this team is now very very capable but for whatever reason we've just lost our way and I don't understand why have you got any thoughts on that in the comments how these kind of runs how this happens it's not even a transition it's going from really good to just not very good and and completely lacking in confidence in front of the goal which is not a problem we had earlier in the season it's weird I don't get it at all just don't get how that works is that is that an in-game issue is that just is that something I'm doing I don't know I don't know put your thoughts in the comments love to read them anyway folks I hope you enjoyed that if you did hit the like button hopefully we can put this right because we are we have to get promoted this next time we absolutely have to we can't just fizzle out we've got the best team we have done for in all of the four seasons this is easily the best team and then all of a sudden i can't get the can't get them playing so what what is going on right folks see you next time bye bye